What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So at the beginning of the year, a company has assets of 350,000 and a debt to equity ratio of 0.4. For the upcoming year, the company's sales are forecasted to be 320,000 with a net profit margin of 25% and a payout ratio of 60%. The assets are forecasted to grow by 20% and the current liabilities by 20,000. And given all that information, we have to find out what will the new or external financing needed be. So new financing needed, external financing needed, they both mean the same thing. Your prof may use one of those terminologies, so I thought I would put both. Now, to do this here, what I'm going to do is create the financial statements in as much detail as I can given this information. So. Let's start with the beginning of the year. So we have the balance sheet. And this is going to be at the beginning of the year. So we're told the company has assets of 350,000. Now notice we're not given the actual numbers for the liabilities or the equity. But notice that we are given the debt to equity ratio. And so that's enough information to figure out what these dollar amounts are. So with a debt to equity ratio of 0 0.4, a couple of things you can do. You can put a one over this and create a mini balance sheet as I did in lecture videos and other previous examples. So then, this is the debt to equity ratios, right? So the liabilities would be 0 0.4, the equity would be one, and then if you add these, the assets are 1.4, right? So basically this has to keep this same proportion. Another way to do it is you could take the 0 0.4 if you don't wanna work with these decimals and you could convert it to a fraction, so 0 0.4 is the same as four over 10, that simplifies to two over five. And then you can use these numbers for the mini balance sheet. So we'd have the liabilities of, or the debt of two, the equity of five, and then the assets would be seven. Okay, two over seven, 0 0.4 divided by 1.4, those would give you the exact same numbers in your calculator. Or one divided by 1.4, or five divided by seven would give you the same number. So whichever way you feel comfortable with. But what we can do now, is we can find out this liabilities and equity by using these ratios. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just use, I'll use the whole numbers for this one. So if we wanna find out this liabilities here, what we would do is we would take the ratio of liabilities to assets, cause that's what we have here. So the liabilities to assets is two over seven. If you use the decimals, this would be uh, 0 0.4 over 1.4. And then we make it equal to X, the liabilities, the debt, the liabilities are at the top, and then the assets, 350,000. Right, the proportions have to be the same. And then from here, you can just solve for X by cross multiplying. So two times 350,000 gives us 700,000. 7 times x is 7x, divide both sides by 7, and we would end up getting x being 100,000. Right, so the liabilities here are 100,000, and then finding the equity is pretty easy. It's just the difference between the assets and the liabilities, which would be 250,000. And then if you want to do a check, you could take 250,000 divided by 350,000, and that should be the same as five divided by seven or one divided by 1.4. Okay, so everything checks out. We can be pretty confident that this here is the current balance sheet. Now, moving on with the question for the upcoming year, the company's sales are forecasted to be 320,000 with a net profit margin of 25% and a payout ratio of 60%. So notice that's information about the income statement which happens throughout the year. Uh, 
Uh, so we got sales of 320,000. We're not given any other information about expenses. We're only given information about the net income because we're given the net profit margin, 25%. And what is net profit margin? It's net income over sales or net income over revenue. So that means 25% of 320,000 is the net income, which would give us 80,000. And we need that net income because we need to know how much of this net income is being retained within the company. So notice we're given out the payout ratio, we're given the payout ratio. The retention ratio would be 100 minus that, it would be 40%. And the reason why we need the amount retained is because we have to add that to equity, which is going to be on the future balance sheet. And the future balance sheet is what we're actually going to be using to find that new or external financing needed. So we need both the beginning. We need this amount. We actually need all the amounts, but uh, in terms of dealing or in terms of finding the future equity, we need the beginning equity and we need the amount retained within the company. So out of this net income, 60% is paid out, which means 40% is retained. So what are the values here? 60% of 80,000 is 48,000. 40% is 32,000. We actually don't even need the 48,000. We could have just uh, wrote down the 32,000. That's what we're gonna be using. All right, so we got the information on that. And now, finally, we're gonna get the balance sheet at the end of the year. So what's gonna happen here? Well, we're told the assets are forecasted to grow by 20%. So assets are forecasted to grow by 20%. So if we take 350,000, I'm gonna do the calculation on the side here, and we grow it by 20%, how do we do that? Well, one plus the growth rate in decimals, it's 20%, uh, 0 0.2. So taking 350,000, multiplying it by 1.2 would give us 420,000. Another way you could have done that is you could have just took 20% of 350,000, which is 70,000, and then added it to 350 and you'd get that 420. This calculation here gives you that ending amount right away. All right, so the assets are 420,000 and then the liabilities are what? We're told the current liabilities are going to grow by 20 uh by 20,000. And the um li the total liabilities, remember this is the total liabilities and total liabilities are made up of what current liabilities and then long-term liabilities or long-term debt and as we mentioned in the previous videos unless stated otherwise in the question the long-term debt we're going to keep constant right so the long-term debt is staying constant but the current liabilities are changing by 20,000 they're increasing by 20,000 and so basically Let's say this was like 70 current, or let's say, uh, makes sense, usually current or less than long. So 30,000 current and then 70 long. Well, the 70 would stay the same, but then the 30 would be increased by 20,000, so it'd be 50,000. So it'd be 70 plus 50, which would give us 120,000 here. So notice we're not given any information about the long-term debt, but we don't really need it because that's staying constant anyway. So if the current liabilities are increasing by 20,000, then we know just the total liabilities in general are increasing by 20,000, right? So just be careful with uh, the information that you're given. And then sometimes it may not even say current liabilities. It may say, I don't know, accounts payable increased by 20,000. And if it doesn't say anything else about the other liabilities, you just assume that that means that the total liabilities are going up by that amount. 
All right, so the total liability is going up by 20,000, so we got 120,000 there. And then, what's the forecasted equity gonna be? Well, the forecasted equity, what is the formula for that? It's the beginning equity, which is the 250,000 plus the amount retained in the company, which is the 32,000. Right, and that gives us 282,000. So that's what the ending equity or the forecasted equity is gonna be. So that's gonna be 282,000 right there. And now we have the ending balance sheet. And how do we find that new or external financing needed? Well, remember the left side and the right side have to balance. So the total of the left side is 420,000. What is the total of the right side here? Well, notice it's going to be 402,000. And so notice that that right side, which is basically where the financing comes from, from debt or liabilities or from equity, notice that it's 402, it's less than that. So how much extra financing do we need? What's the external financing going to be? Remember the formula that we went through? Well, it's basically the external or new financing needed equals the forecasted assets minus the forecasted liabilities and equity. So it's basically the difference between those. So if we take 420,000 minus 402,000, what do we get? 18,000. And so that's what the answer to this question would be. Right, and sometimes this could be negative. There could be excess financing, it means you would have excess cash in the company if this ended up being negative. If this uh, right side ends up being greater than this left side, right? So it's always in this order here. Don't mix up the order. So this could be a negative answer as well. In this case, it was a positive answer, meaning that there is external financing or new financing needed of. 18,000.